Yo, so welcome to another video. This one is going to be the Valorant uh, best FPS settings. It'll be boosting your FPS, boosting the visibility, some of the vibrancy in the game, the smooth feel of it. Um, I'll be doing the in-game settings first, then I'll be going to some window settings afterwards. So stick around or skip ahead if you want to go get straight into the window settings. But yeah, let's um, let's quickly get into the settings in-game graphic-wise. Um, basically, you can copy all of these straight away if you want now, but I am going to go through and explain them all really quick for you. Uh, multi threaded rendering you want on 100%. This will boost your FPS if you have like a semi decent PC, you know, mid end 100%. It's going to use all your utilities, all your cores, everything that you want, and uh, and just push your performance all the way through. Um, material quality, texture quality, detail quality. I have all of these low. Even UI quality could realistically go low as well. I just like having it a little bit higher up. Just, you know, that's kind of weird. Me, I'm just a bit weird. Um, but yeah, keep everything like that on low. Make sure VisionNet is off. Make sure VSync is off. Don't use VSync. If you have GSync or FreeSync, use that instead. VSync should not be used for anything. All it does is increase input lag. Anti aliasing is a little bit of personal preference. Um, in this game, I don't notice too much with the FPS changing too much. So, you know, try it yourself, see what you like. I like FXAA. It gives a little bit of an outline on the characters uh, and the agents, but it doesn't mess with them too much. And it's tropic filtering. Again, some of these options don't do a hell of a lot in terms of FPS. I didn't see a difference between 4X to 16X. All it does is make my game just a little bit more visible, and that's kind of what the goal is. You want to maximize your FPS and maximize the visibility of the game as well. Um, these things can be the more tricky ones. So I saw a video um, earlier when I was doing a bit of research for this. I saw that this, this guy had bloom, distortion, and cast shadows all enabled and on. You do not want that. That is going to mess up the visibility of your game. It's going to mess the competitive feel of it, and it's also going to mess up your FPS a little bit because some of these options can be a little bit um, harmful on your, on your performance, especially on older graphics card or older systems. Um, the two that I have on though is improved clarity, which I didn't notice did too much to me. Like it says in the, in the description, if you have a, have a high-end GPU, we recommend keeping it on. Same, um, it's one to test out yourself, but I would recommend trying it and keeping it on. And same with the experimental sharpening. Anything that makes your game just that little bit clearer, a little bit more um, vibrant and also smooth as well. These options should do all of that for you. So copy these in-game settings and uh, we'll jump into some Windows settings that I think you might not have heard of or seen before. And this should help you out with your performance as well. Really quick, I just want to make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on. If you aren't already, hit that big red button down below and click the bell icon just so you don't miss any of my uploads. Okay, back to the video. So, now that we've gone through some of the in-game settings for Valorant, let's start having a look at some of the Windows options that you can start changing. If you've watched some of these videos before on different games or even on Valorant as well, some of them will be pretty similar, but there'll be a couple I think that you might not have tried or looked at before. So let's just let's start going through them. So the first thing is uh, the Xbox Game Bar and the Xbox Game Mode. So come down here and type in game mode settings and it'll bring you to this page if you're on windows 11 it'll be slightly different but it'll be the same search term you know game mode search it up what you want to do is you want to make sure that game mode is turned off it says windows optimizes your pc for play do not trust it whatsoever this used to be a thing back in the day you know maybe a year or two ago where people started to turn it on and test it out all i've had in my experience that has been really negative so i don't recommend you try it out and for the game bar make sure that you have game bar turned off as well all it does is sap your resources and you just don't want that the next thing to look at is going to be the graphics settings. So you come down here, you type in graphics, it comes up. There's two options here. Make sure that variable refresh rate is turned off. If you have G-Sync or FreeSync, use that instead. Don't use any Windows options. Don't use V-Sync whatsoever. What we're in here for mainly though is the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If you've seen my Warzone video, you'll know that I mentioned I had really bad problems with this. However, I do believe that for, for people with lower end systems, and even I think maybe I was just a bit of a, an anomaly with my Warzone options as well, but turn this setting on. Turn it on, try it out, um, give it a little test. It should be better for a lot of people on those lower end systems, like I've said. If not, turn it off. It gave me a bit of stuttering. Try it out yourself, but you know, it's something to test, test and figure out if you like it or not. Now, the next option in Windows is this one. You want to try and get to your app data file. So I'll show you how you get up here. What you want to do is you want to press Windows key and R and I'll bring this option up. Type in app data with percentage on each side and it'll bring you up to this page and you want to navigate your way basically through you want to go through app data to local to valorant into the saved folder into your config and then when you get to this page you'll be wondering which one is your actual account that you're meant to be on which config you're meant to be using if you sort the date by modified to the most recent it'll be the latest one not the crash report client but it'll be the latest one here and what you want to do is click into this go to windows and your game user settings what you want to do here is make sure that properties, make sure that read only is disabled on ticked because you want to be editing them and it not have it like auto saving. Um, so yeah, what you want to do is open with, go to notepad and from this page, what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down so you get to scalability groups. Now, when you turn settings down in game, they do go down a lot, but this forces it to be at a certain level. 
and all these options you see here that are at three at the minute can all go to either one or zero. I would only recommend changing these options all to, to one or zero if you are really struggling with FPS. Otherwise, I, you know, it's, it's not something I would consider doing. Uh, it can be a bit dodgy when you mess with the game files and I would normally try and avoid it, but it should help you out if you have a, a lower end system. Now, my final point would be the NVIDIA control panel and it's, you know, a typical one that people go through, but you right click NVIDIA control panel. If you're on AMD, I'm sorry, um, this is for NVIDIA users only. Uh, we'll quickly look at the 3D settings. I'm not going to go through each one. I feel like every video sort of does this. If it doesn't, uh, you know, maybe go check out like a Warzone video that I've done or, you know, my, my Blood Hunt video. Just copy these settings here. I'll scroll through them again for you real quick. Um, each setting basically just needs to be off unless uh, very specifically it says you know, it's one of these like high performance or, you know, just, just copy my settings, right? These settings are going to be the best ones for most games to maximize performance out of them. These are like the best optimization settings you can use. So apply them. And the main reason that I actually wanted to come into the control panel was for the color settings. So Valorant is already a pretty vibrant game, but if you want to make your game a little bit brighter, a little bit more vibrant, nice on the eyes, you can turn digital vibrance up to, you know, 8500. Test it and see where you like it. You can change it like as you play in game as well. Just like put your game in Windows mode and uh, turn your digital vibrance up and down and just see how it looks on different maps and how you feel. It can be a bit weird with like Sage Walls. It can mess with the colors of that a little bit if you go too high, but you know, somewhere between 70 to what, like maybe 90 is probably a good range to try out. Um, it makes the game look a hell of a lot nicer and I'd recommend trying that out. I hope you found some of those settings useful. The in-game ones are all pretty common, but uh, some of these Windows ones could be a little bit tricky and not always seen before. Make sure you try them out, test them out yourself, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give me a comment, let me know if any of these worked for you. Make sure you like and uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.